What's going on, Sheep Army? This is your boy Random Marks coming with a quick video. And on this video, guys, I'm gonna be talking about Shiba Inu, guys, and the state of Shiba Inu when it comes to the two different groups within Shiba Inu when it comes to thinking on how Shiba Inu is. So before I dive too deeply into it, do me a huge favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about Shiba Inu. So guys. There's currently two different groups of opinion uh, when it comes to Shiba Inu. Um, and you guys could determine where you fall in. Now, for me, I fall in within this group, this blue line, this blue box right here. The reason why I fall in between this blue box is because this is the time that I actually got into Shiba Inu. So typically, if you bought anything in before, and this is before um, October, so if you bought shiba inu before october 2021 then you did very very well because after you know the consolidation period was over october came then boom shiba inu had this huge pop huge run up and a lot of people made a lot of money just by simply just buying it within this area now the second group of people they're the one that's angry because they're the one who's buying it during this wave they're buying it up here, buying it when it's coming down, keep buying it, keep buying it, keep buying it. So finally you got this little big drop off and some may have not even bought it. Like even your favorite YouTuber, uh, if you fall in this group, <laughs> you typically are watching content from either Matt or Claybro. Now, not saying 100% all the people who fall within buying it here you know are watching their content but majority of the people that are that bought right in here you're watching their content and the crazy thing about it they bought right in there with you this is the reason why they're so angry matt he's currently down 50 percent on his bag and i suspect that he probably sunk in way too much money into shiba inu and he is grasping for air just you know just to be able to have one quick pop so that way he could get out for break even or somewhere close to break even this is why some of these guys are going super hard <laughs> at she but majority of the other youtubers who bought the ogs and i'm talking about i don't even want to drop any names but you know the og youtubers uh the one that that was in she we're talking about she before october of 2021 typically they have you know positive things to say about she now i don't always have any uh you know i don't always have positive things to say about she um you know i criticize where i see like okay this is getting a little outrageous but majority of the time you see the people talking positively about shiba inu they fall within this bracket this this box right here and the the reason is super simple they made money i made money you know making money like it 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 relieves a lot of fud and one thing about it too if you guys wasn't here before october there was so much massive 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 uh fud happening within shiba inu during this consolidation period you know how many times people were like oh my god shiba inu is dead blah 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 kind of like people are saying right now like it's dead it's dead it's not doing anything like guys this is the whole cycle and this is what i had to learn like stages of a bubble like in a bubble because when it comes to bubbles guys and you could look at this chart it almost mirrors shiba inu like you have the public you know when the public start getting in you have institutional investors and who was the institutional investors when they first came into SHIB? These were the exchanges because around this time, these consolidation period, the people that was coming into SHIB were, you know, this was like after the Binance, uh, or I guess the, this was like the Binance and afterwards we started getting exchange after exchange after exchanges getting listed for uh, SHIB. Then all of a sudden, we get the public this is all public buying and this is all the different bag holders people who you know bought it at the top 
And of course, assets, like I said, they don't go straight up. You got this uh, this dip return. They People thinking it's about to return to normal. Then boom, you get this collapse. So same thing, guys. Same thing happened here. Thought we're about to get a return. Then the collapse. Then you have people just started by. Now we're currently in this phase right here. Like return, returning back to the mean, returning back to normal. And this is no surprise that when this thing, uh, when she dropped, it came right back to that same area of support, guys, before it had the big lift off. And this is the same thing that you're seeing here. Like the first lift off goes right here and everything just goes right back down to he said return to the mean so this is where we're currently at and we may even see just one more little dip into it because it does not play out um a hundred percent but you could see how this thing is set up so for the youtubers out there that are angry and they feel like you know the team is not doing anything this is the read they're the reason why the price is the price then they have no clue how chart formation even works you know like we're literally just about to come out of a bear market so for the last two years so the people who's been holding you guys been feeling the heat you guys been feeling depressed you guys been feeling down and it's easy to create a villain versus to face yourself in the mirror and just be like oh crap i actually messed up I bought this at the wrong timing, but no, nobody's not going to hold self accountable. They're going to blame somebody else. The reason why I'm down is, oh, it's because scam Toshi, he's a scammer. Like, what did he do to scam you? <laughs> you know, and, and this is why I'm always wondering, like, how is he scamming? And I'm the type of person that, you know, I, that typically just look for scams as far as like where to see what people scamming like i mean maybe you guys know something that i don't know because you're like oh he is scamming he promised us burns and we're not seeing any burns like the burns in itself guys it, it's it's still chart formation even if we start burning a lot it still have to get over this big hump, which is the volume. So you guys are talking about burns. He's talking about bringing in demand. Like, yeah. So again, hopefully you guys, my little rant right here is helping someone, you know, because at the end of the day, guys, you got to take accountable for your own action. A lot of you guys from math, um, you know, being down 50% on his bag, um, to clay bro. I, you know, it was even said that he don't even own she, but I don't know. He, the way he's talking, he either don't own she or he's down pretty bad, bad as well too. But for me, I sold my sheep, all my sheep in this area, last bull run. And I, and this is why I, I've been so patient. You know, I still got a little bit of sheep left that I purchased, but I purchased it around the last time it dipped. So it was uh, not last time it dipped. It was like point, I think it was like point five zero seven or something like that. So I'm up and I'm just, you know, just cruising. And again, this is stuff that I had to learn from the last bear cycle. So seeing how charts operate, you know, seeing like uh, just immersing myself as far as like studying. And I think a lot of that energy that you guys have, it should be put on, you know, studying or learning about either the either stock market or even crypto market, because some of them, it does correlate uh, together. Because I'll tell you this one last thing. So we're all waiting for the ETF to happen for uh, Bitcoin. Estimated about $30 trillion 
is about to go into Bitcoin um, this next coming cycle. But what if before we get that approval, you know, people because Bitcoin may run up all the way up into January, January come, they're like, nope, you know what? We're going to deny this ETF. They say, yep, we deny it. The next thing you know, the price of Bitcoin will crash. And what it's going to also do is going to also crash the price of uh, the altcoin. So Shiba Inu. So if you're one of the ones that purchased up here and you guys are feeding to all that negative energy that you've been listening to with all these crypto, uh, with all these uh, crypto influencers, once Shiba Inu starts to crash again, you're gonna also sell as well you know because you guys are currently right now operating off of two emotions one is fear and the other is greed because you think burning off massive sheep will get you all the way to one penny and the one penny that's just being drilled into you guys by all these youtubers you burn trillions of sheep then one penny is for sure going to come. And those are the two aspiration that you have, you know, to either be back at break even to get out or to be able to be a millionaire. And those are not bad dreams or bad aspirations, but the way that you guys are going about it, you're you're probably not going to reach it. And the reason why I say that you're probably not going to reach it is because you're not learning from your mistake this is something that i had to learn and i was referenced back to the story about me buying ada um which is cardano i was buying it buying it buying it buying it then during the uh you know the bear market let me show you guys so had this blow off top i was buying it buying it buying it then for the next two years, I was just sitting there down on my position, guys. Two years. So it had one last drop. <laughs> then after that, Bitcoin having happened, then boom, I missed all this big run up. So same thing, in my opinion, is going to happen uh, for Sheeb. And a lot of people are going to miss the run up. That's going to happen because, again, when you listen to negative talk, it's going to affect you not only emotionally, but it's going to mess up with your psyche as far as your decision making to be able to look at things from a rational perspective. At the end of the day, guys, you guys are investors. Um, you should. You should really just. Uh, you know, just pay attention to what other people are saying. Like, I'm probably the only YouTuber that's going to keep it this real with you guys and tell you what it is you know at the end of the day you decide you want to buy it you decided that you want to buy at the levels that you did if you're down then if i was in your shoes and if i was down i would actually dca that's the only thing that i can do just to be able to get my average down and my strategy if i really want to get out is waiting for a bounce to get out but if you sunk way too much money like matt did uh, let me not say like matt did well like i assume he did then the only thing that you could do at this point in time is just just to wait but yeah really guys that's all i have for you today just wanted to do this early morning rant um, don't know what today holds, so that's why I'm doing the video super early. But leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, I may actually lose some subs over this. Again, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys, and I'm not even doing this for the subs, or else I wouldn't be making videos like this. I would just be telling you guys, hey, Shaitoshi suck. If I start saying Shaitoshi sucks, then my sub count is going to reach like over 200K or something like that. <laughs> but. Let me know, guys, in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Random Mart signing off. Peace.